I know of no one that has affected American uh, popular music in so many different ways, and so many different levels, other than Quincy Jones. I don't know of anybody that has that type of impact. Quincy Jones's music and work influenced everybody that had anything to do with popular music in the United States. Quincy influenced me in a variety of different ways, from the jazz perspective, the pop perspective, you name it, even from writing for symphonic instruments, you know, string work. You know, if you look at his albums back in the 70s, the 80s, you know, as late as the 90s, and you look at the personnel, the list of who's who that's on those albums, that tells you a lot about him because there's nobody on earth that could get all those people together every time they do an album project. He fuses all the music, the bebop years, he fuses that with the rappers and, and, and shows the correlation in his recordings of how it's one and the same and one comes from the other and how they're all interrelated. You know, so, uh, and it's young and old. They're all on the recording and they all respect him, you know, because he gives a certain level of respect. In turn, they respect him. He got Miles Davis in 1991 to play music that he played 30 and 40 years ago. Nobody was able to do that. Miles hadn't played that music, music from the birth of the cool late, late 40s and early 50s. Miles had not played that for years and didn't think about playing it until Quincy asked him to do it. Garfield has been way overdue for a new building. I mean, the school was built in 1922, so we were way overdue. Now, our original auditorium was named, oh, way back in the 70s for Quincy, Quincy Jones Auditorium. But when we had this new building and this new wing of the building built, uh, many people thought that there should be no other name on the marquee or on the front of the building than Quincy Jones. Not only did they name the theater after Quincy Jones, the whole annex, the, the athletic portion of it, you know, the gymnasium, the locker rooms, you know, it's all, it's, it's all a Quincy Jones performance center because they just wanted to honor the impact that he's had, you know, not only at Garfield, but the nation and the world.